Uh, this, this event in Rome is incredible. I mean, when I saw it yesterday, I couldn't believe it, to be honest with you. I mean, it looks like something out of a, uh, an old school, classic Roman Colosseum style uh, film. And exactly what we want to do. And, and, you know, I said to the guys at the zone, these events are so important because don't forget, although the aim here is to motivate young Italian fighters, the grassroots fighters, and to grow the sport of boxing in Italy, this event is also being shown worldwide. And these eyeballs from around the world are going to be looking, saying, wow, boxing in Italy is back, it's, it's on. You know, we're going to have a great crowd there, great atmosphere, the setting is going to be stunning as well, We've got some great fights. So it's not just showcasing it to Italy, it's showcasing it to the world. And I think it's really important to make sure that every time you turn on your TV, this is the same kind of mindset we had in the UK. When you turn on your TV, you've got to be engaged. And the only way you do that is in big arenas, big crowds with great atmospheres, because otherwise you just flick to the next channel. And I think there's too many sports out there, let alone too many boxing events, where you immediately look at the surroundings, the arena, the capacity, and turn it over. So this is an event that will get your attention and a big event towards our steps. It's still very early days in our development of boxing in Italy, but we've made some great strides so far. You know, the, the last event in Milan was great. The first time we were in a proper arena, if you like, and event by event, the media interest, the, the attendance, you know, the, the profile events, the quality, you know, th that look and feel of the event is, is improving every time. Yeah, it's interesting, you know, when you look at growing boxing in Italy, you always have to look at the talent. So much great talent coming through in Italy, guys that are 2-0, 4-0, 8-0, 10-0. -0. At the very top level, away from sort of Scardinia and Turchi, you've got guys like Marsili and Bl Blandamura, both guys in that top 15 in the world or challenged for world titles before, European champions. But they're still kind of like the flagship guys. But Blandamura has been there, he's done it, he's seen it all. But for him, this is the highlight of his career. You know, he's going to be boxing in front of three or 4,000 in his hometown with Michael Buffer calling him out in an open-air event. So he's pumped for this fight. For Marcus Morrison, it's a really interesting opportunity for him because obviously when Matrim used to work with Marcus Morrison, he was perceived to be one of the top prospects coming out. Big following in Manchester, won the WBC international title, and then it all come crumbling down against Jason Wellborn at the Manchester Arena. Tough defeat that night. Then he's come back with some wins, had a couple of strange losses on small hall shows, come back with wins. Now he gets his opportunity to really catapult himself back in that middleweight scene in, in the UK and in Europe as well. And, and when you look at the fight, you look at the two fighters, Morrison so fresh, so confident. Blandamura, very, very experienced, you know, has a great work rate, has great heart as well. Will have the crowd on his side. Obviously, if it goes to points as well, you've got to always, if it's a close fight, fancy that home fighter as well. So it's a fascinating fight. I think, I think for me, Morrison is probably the slight favorite in this fight. He comes here with no pressure at all. And that's another great thing about these events, in, whether they're in the USA or Italy, is the opportunities that it's giving British fighters as well. You know, we've got Tommy McCarthy here this week. We had Jamie McDonald box the week before. Paul Highland challenged for the European title. Martin Ward previously in Florence. You know, it's a great opportunity to bring those fighters, whether they're getting experience out here or whether they're trying to take life-changing opportunities out here. For Marcus Morrison, this is a life-changing opportunity. And you know, I see him with his team. I don't think he can believe either. He's fighting an open air stadium in Rome with Michael Buffer and you know, he's worked hard at the sport and this is, this is the opportunity that could completely change the direction of his career. Yeah, I think it looks like a bicep tear for Turchi, you know, we saw him at the press conference. Genuine guy, Fabio Turchi, don't see any reason that the injury is not true, he's been training for 10 weeks, he hasn't got pain. So Tommy McCarthy, again up against another cruiserweight from Rome in Cataldo. He should win comfortably, but Cataldo's, again, a life-changing opportunity for him. And then if, he, if Tommy gets through, we'll be looking to make that Turchy fight for September, October. Yeah, Dillian White's getting some really interesting talent at the moment. You know, Alan Babich is someone who he rates very highly. The rumours are this guy has been laying people flat out in sparring. I don't like talking about sparring stories, but I'm talking about top heavyweights. But sparring stories, some are real, some are not real. So we'll see if they're real, because we'll be able to see it straight away. This guy good amateur pedigree from Croatia, part of the WSB as well, which gives that, that sort of bridge gap between the amateur and the professional code. Um, Dillian's excited about him and you know, I expect him to win well in his debut and he could even feature at the O2 on July 20. Yeah, it's, it's amazing to have Mike. I mean, obviously Michael exclusive to Matrim Boxing and his own. So to have him in Rome for the fight fans here, it's incredible. He's never um, emceed a fight before in Rome. 
So he's excited, and it just adds that little bit, something special. Again, it's about perception. It's about the fans going, wow, Buffer's here. You know, boxing in Italy's back, and those people watching from around the world as well. And boxing in Italy is back, and it's, we've taken major strides over the last few months, and sort of bringing him here, again, and amazing for the fighters. You know, Blandemur and Marcus Morrison. Just adds that something special to what will be a very special event in Rome.